Hi guys, my name is Kirsty and welcome back to Upside Down Books. Today we're going to be doing two very exciting things, starting off with checking out my new fit. So we are starting today with the Udi review, which is what I am wearing today. This is one of the lovely pajama sets that Udi has very kindly sent to me. If you don't know who Udi is, they are a fantastic company that do one of my favorite items of clothing. Nay, dare I say, everyone's favorite item of clothing, and that is the Udi, like the big wearable blanket with the hood that we all love. And they also have pajamas. So I am so excited to bring this to you today and talk about what it is I've been sent, how comfy it is, and why you guys all need one. And not only that, but I have a really special code to share with you as well, so that you can get $30 off your first purchase. But let's start with what I think of their pajamas. I have been a long time wearer of the Udi itself, and I love, I love it, I love it, I love it so much. It really gets me through the winter months when I'm so cold and no other clothing will do, and I will wear that blanket around the house like there is no tomorrow. And I'm thrilled to be wearing their pajamas today, so obviously I'm gonna be showing these off for, you dur for the duration of this video, and we can all agree that it is a fabulous pattern. This is the Aussie Favourites patterns. So this is a buttoned up shirt paired with some pants that are this long. You're so welcome for that demonstration. It's a matching set and it's such good quality. It's really like thick material, but like quite breathable, so it's not thick and hot. It's just really feels lovely. It's a little bit weighted and it's really, really stretchy. So this is just like, so easy to fit into. It's not fitted to your body, so it's that perfect sort of relaxed fit for sleeping in. And I have been sleeping in these for the last few days to try them out for you, and I've loved it. I've not been overheating, and it's and I think that is a great testament to them. It's been really hot here in Western Australia and really humid, and I have been perfectly comfortable wearing them. So I think that these are just absolutely brilliant, and I wanted to share the good vibes with you. So make sure that you check out the description box below to see my promo code, which is Kirsty Books. And you can enter that at checkout to save when you get your very own Udi stuff in your next order So I hope you go forth and enjoy that because they have some fantastic designs One of my other favorite ones is the sloth with the tea the, the cup of tea So keep your eyes peeled for that one, but this one I think is really hilarious It's all the Aussie favorite foods. So we have like the the hot dog in a in a in a slice of bread We got hot chips. We got fairy bread. We got mince pies. We got lamingtons. I think that's all of them have I missed one? Sausage roll. So there's lots to enjoy in here. Endless entertainment for you whilst you're reading in bed. So yeah, I really recommend these and these are gonna be super comfy. I really love how wide the shoulders are. I have very broad shoulders and these actually fit me, so that's super exciting. Their sizing is really easy to work out as well. So it is honestly just a good time all around. So that is what I have to show you today with the Udi review, but now we're gonna be moving on to an unboxing. So I subscribe to an Australian subscription box which comes out quarterly, and that is Novelist, and it is a reboot of the YA Chronicles. And you may have seen me talk about the first box which I tried, which was at, in December of 2021, and it being March whilst I'm filming this, we've now got the second installment, and I'm so excited to open it with you guys. It contains four books, and when you subscribe, you get, you're get you told what two of them are, but two of them are a mystery, which I find really handy for not doubling up and for having a little bit of peace in mind that it's only two books that I don't know, because with the number of books that I bring in per month, it is always a concern that I'm going to have accidentally bought something that's coming in the box. So there's always something special, things are usually signed or there's something else going on, and from now on in, I believe, if I remember rightly, they are going to be um, spraying the edges of one of the books in the collection, which we all love. Um, so I am curious to see which one it is. I can't remember which one it is. And I'm really excited to see which books are in there. So this is what it comes in. It comes in like a big bag like this, which I actually love because it removes all the guilt of needing to collect the boxes, like with Fae Crate or Loom Crate or Fable Crate, all of those ones. Um, they come in such lovely boxes that I feel obliged to keep them. So huge shout out to Novelist for not making me feel obliged to keep the packaging that the books come in. Um, and it will come bubble wrapped inside, so it is totally safe even though it's not a structured box. And it is just books, which again, I love, because I don't like all the little knickknacks that you get with half of the subscriptions. I find them so superfluous and I don't know what to do with them, I just want to get books. So I love, I love this curated selection and this is all like YA titles. I think mostly YA fantasy. I don't, I think it's just fantasy. 
Don't quote me on that though. So let's dive in and let's have a look. I have opened up the flap at the top to save us the kerfuffle of me doing it on camera. Um, so let's dive in and have a look at what we've got. Okay, first two books here. Okay, I think these are the surprise books because I don't recognize either of them. So we have, first up, we have The Bone Spindle by Leslie Vedder. This is very exciting. This is one of these books that I have been looking at on the bookshelf and really debating picking up and then not quite committing to doing it. So now I have a copy which is great and this one has some lovely glossing over all of like the vines in the title so that's really exciting. I will read the blurb for you. A drop of blood, a drop of hope, the sleep of death broken with a single kiss. When expert treasure hunter Fee pricks her finger on an old spindle she awakens the ghost of Prince Briar Rose who believes a single kiss will break his century-long sleep curse. To try and free him, Fee joins forces with Shane, an axe-wielding huntswoman, oh, amazing, and embarks on a perilous journey to forest of the th Forest of Thorns. Is this a gender swap retelling of Sleeping Beauty? Together they will face dark magic enchantments and nightmarish beasts, but perhaps most dangerous of all are the mysterious witch who captures Shane's heart and the ghostly prince who believes true love in true love at any cost. I, oh, oh my goodness. This is amazing. No, is it gender swapped? So we've got Fee, who's a girl, pricks her finger on a spindle, and awakens the ghost of a prince, and then she's trying to free him. I think it's, I think it's a little bit gender swapped in that it's still the woman pricking the finger, but she's then the hero of the day. Now this one did come with a signed book plate, which I have put in here. So this is a little sticker I've inserted with the author's signature on the, on the front of that there. Um, so I'm really excited to dive into this one. I've actually not read any of the books from the last box and I'm really bummed because they have such great selections always, but that is a really great start and I don't have it, so always a win. The next one I'm so excited about. I just, I can't, I'm so, I very nearly bought this the other week and it's The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea by Axio. Ah, oh, everyone is reading this and talking about it and it came out at the same time as Daughter of the Moon Goddess and I feel like it's got really similar vibes. Um, I, I don't know, like it's got a whimsical, lovely, fantastical vibe going by the cover. And I love, I love the artwork of this one. It's just stunning. Now this one also comes with a book plate, which again I've put in here. So we have a signature by the author, which is really good fun and I love it. Makes it feel like it's a little bit more personal. So I will, this is a very long blurb, but we will, we will read it and we will learn what this one is about because I actually don't know, but I'm still so excited. Deadly storms, an ancient curse. Will her sacrifice save them all? For generations, deadly storms have ravaged Mina's homeland. Her people believe the sea god, once their protector, now curses them with death and despair. To appease him, each year a maiden is thrown into the sea in the hopes that one day the true bride will be chosen to end the suffering. I love these stories, they're so ridiculous. Many believe Shim Chong, Mina's brother's beloved, to be the legendary true bride, but on the night that Chong will be sacrificed, Mina's brother follows her, knowing that to interfere is a death sentence. So to save her brother, Mina throws herself into the water in Chong's stead. This is getting hectic. Swept away to the spirit realm, a magical city of lesser gods and mythical beasts, Mina finds the sea god trapped in an enchanted sleep. And with the help of a mysterious young man and a motley crew of demons, gods and spirits, Mina sets out to waken him and bring an end to the storms once and for all. I feel like I've got the whole plot on the back of the book here. But she doesn't have much time. A human cannot live long in the lands of the spirits. And there are those she, who would do anything to keep the god, sea god from waking. Oh, here we go. So this is a magical feminist retelling of a classic Korean legend perfect for fans of Uprooted and Spirited Away. I think this sounds brilliant. I'm really excited to have this. It's quite a small book, so I'm hoping that this will just be something I can just absolutely devour. Um, and, <laughs> and hopefully this... I really feel like the whole story was on the blurb there, but I'm, I'm loving these selections. This is very exciting. All right, so there'll be two more books bundled together. And I think the slip of paper... <laughs> will be in here to tell us what it's about. So it is, oh yes, so Secrets and Power was the theme for this month, um, for this quarter. So, oh, I'm just so excited. This has it's already got me so excited for what the next installment is going to be. Three months is a really long time to wait between this. But the first book is V.E. Schwab's new book, Gallant, which is exciting. Again, a book I really nearly picked up, despite knowing that this was one of the books going to be in here. Uh, obviously, I, I need to pay more attention and make sure that I don't double up on books. But thankfully, I didn't buy it when I was tempted, which is good because now I do have it. I am really curious what this one's going to be like to read. This feels a bit different like stylistically to what Schwab has written before. Um, I've only read a couple of Yee Schwab books. I've read um, Addie LaRue and I have read um, 
vicious and they're the only the only two books I've read both very different but I still just feel like this is slightly different to everything else that she's known for so it's also just it's a taller edition book it's skinny and it's got you can see the color gradients here with all the different illustrations and this kind of thing happening inside so I think this would be quite a quick read, but let me read the blurb for you. 16 year old Olivia Pryor is missing three things, a mother, a father, and her voice. Her only companions are the ghouls she sees and, the, and her mother's journal, which captured, which captured a mind in turmoil. Until she received a letter from an uncle that she's never met, summoning her to his estate, Gallant. That's where the title comes from. But when she arrives, she discovers her uncle is dead and the estate is empty save for her cousin Matthew and the servants. My goodness. Gallant is a house of secrets, a house sitting in lonely vigil, a place where ghouls are powerful. As Olivia searches for answers about her family, her past, she discovers a dark reflection of everything she knew in an ancient realm where ghosts take form and the dark master sits waiting for her. My gosh, this sounds very intriguing. It's sort of reminding me what is it? Is it reminding me of Miss Peregrine's? It's giving me those kind of really, really paranormal vibes there. So I am so curious to read into this. I think we have potentially um, like alternate realms, parallel universe sort of thing going on here, going by the cover and, and other versions of that blurb I've read. So I am very curious to get into this one. I'm sure it'll be good. I don't think Schwab has ever written a bad book, it seems. So the final book is very exciting. It is sort of the flagship title for this book, and that is The Atlas Six by Ol Olive, Ol Ol Olive, Olivier, Olivier, Olive, Ol I don't know, it's not French, Olivier, Olivier Blake? Hang on, we're gonna look up how to say this. How to pronounce I'm honestly not 100% sure, but Google seems to suggest Olivier. I've never heard that before, so let me know in the comments if you know how this is pronounced. But the Atlas Six, ladies and gentlemen, I, I present to you. Um, this has been a really, really hyped up book and a really big release for March, and this is the one with the lovely sprayed edges. So it's sprayed in black with gold trim and seems to have some circles, but I can't, I can't work out if those are intentional or just sort of happened. But in any case, it has such a lovely trim to it now. So that look at the shine on that book. That's lovely that is. So I don't actually recall what this one is about. I don't know if I've ever read the blurb for this, so this is going to be really exciting to dive into. So let's have a read. Six extraordinary magicians, five chances to win, one secret society. Each decade, six magicians are invited to compete for an incredible prize, a place within the secret Alexandrian society. Their custodians guard knowledge from the ancient civilizations and enjoy incredible power. And here are the contenders. Oh my god, I love it already. Libby Rhodes and Nico de Verona are inseparable enemies and both can control matter with their minds. Parissa Kamali is a telepath who can perceive the deepest of secrets. Raina Mori understands the flow of life itself and Kala Nova is an empath who can manipulate the desires of others. Finally, there's Tristan Kane, whose powers mystify even himself. How curious. Following recruitment by the mysterious Atlas Blakely. What a great, what a great, do you think she named it after him herself? That's great. All right. They travel to society's London headquarters. Here, each must study and innovate with esoteric subject areas. And if they can prove themselves over a year, they'll survive. Most of them. Welcome to the Alexandrian society. There's also three symbols. These three symbols at the bottom of the blurb, I don't know what they mean, but they're also there. So this is super intriguing and I've heard a lot of people who have read this already are really hyped about it. So that's got me quite excited at least. So these are the four books in the novelist box for March. I am so impressed with this selection. I think that these are all brilliant picks and I am genuinely super excited to get to all of them. I've been really enjoying novelists so far because they've all been books that are ones I actually want to buy and add to my TBR myself. I haven't had any books so far that have been something that I'm not you know, especially interested in. So this is like the perfect book box for me and I'm so excited that it finally exists because it's always a bit lonely when you're when you're not receiving a Lumicrate or or one of the many subscription boxes 
um, because it's so exciting to receive something like this. So yeah, if you haven't checked out Novelist yet and you live in Australia, I have no idea if they're shipping um, internationally or to New Zealand at the moment, but if you haven't checked them out yet, then I highly recommend you do because I totally think it's worth it and it's so much fun. So that is really exciting. And of course, another big thank you to Udi to, for sending me this magnificent pajama set. I'm just loving it and so happy to have it in my possession. And don't forget, you can use my code KirstyBooks30 to save $30 on your next order. Make sure you go forth and use it because that is a wicked offer. So other than that, I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. <laughs>